According to the rules of golf, you're allowed to carry a maximum of 14 golf clubs in your bag. But what clubs do you need? And what do each one do? Don't worry, Golf Fitter is here with some good advice on how to build your bag. Now you may well have seen traditional sets of clubs with driver, fairway woods, irons, wedges and a putter. But what you need to assemble is a set of clubs that is suited for your game. If you're out on the golf course and you're often left with a shot for which you don't have the correct club, chances are you're not going to score as well as you could do. So tradition to one side, the right set of clubs for you are ones which give you the highest percentage of hitting successful shots and which bring enjoyment on the golf course. Some players carry two drivers, some two putters, others have specialist clubs like jiggers or chipping wedges and yet others have full sets of funny looking hybrid clubs instead of irons. Everyone is different and that is one of the great things about golf. But let's build a theoretical bag of 14 clubs and look at the easy and harder choices you'll face when deciding what to include in your bag. So let's start by putting a driver and putter in your bag. They're two essential clubs. The driver for use off the tee on par fours and par fives and the putter for getting the ball into the hole. So 12 spaces left to fill. Most players will also carry a set of irons in some form, probably running from four iron to pitching wedge, seven clubs in total. Now these clubs are used for the second shots on most holes and they'll usually be from the same set or have similar construction and look and designed to hit the ball specific distances from long shots to short ones with consistent distance gaps. The four iron, well that goes the furthest, the five iron 10 yards or so less, the six iron 10 yards less than that and so on. Now most golfers will know their seven iron distance as a base yardage and work up and down from there to pick a club based on the distance they've left to the hole. Now popping those seven irons into our sample bag means we've now nine clubs used and five slots left. And this is where it can get a bit tricky and you'll need to know a little bit about your options and what they do. Now looking at our bag, we've got a driver for the longest shots, irons for the middle shots and a putter for the shortest shots. But there are big distance gaps between these. Now to fix this, at the top of the bag, you might want to choose a fairway wood that's slightly shorter in length than your driver with five or so more degrees loft. Now this club can be used for long shots off the fairway or from the rough and can be used as another safe option off the tee when you don't fancy hitting driver. It'll also cover a yardage that is longer than your four iron but is shorter than your driver. So most golfers carry at least one fairway wood, more often than not a three wood, so we'll pop one in. That's 10 of our 14 clubs allowance used. Now at the other end of the bag, we've got a pitching wedge and then a putter. Now depending on the golfer, a pitching wedge will go somewhere between 80 and 130 yards. But what about when you've got less than this into the green? We're all comfortable taking a full swing, uh, more than a fiddly half swing. So let's add a club that will cover a shorter yardage than our pitching wedge. A sand wedge will cover this gap absolutely perfectly and give us a great option out of the bunkers. The additional loft will get the ball up in the air quickly and landing softly. Perfect. That's 11 of 14 done. Now, believe it or not, the question of what to do with the remaining three clubs is the same dilemma shared by beginners and the very best tour professionals. Options might be another fairway wood to bridge the gap between your three wood and the longest iron. A hybrid or rescue club that is easier to hit than a long iron, handy from all sorts of lies, and bridges the distance gap between your fairway wood and the longest iron. A driving iron, which is similar in performance to a rescue club, but looks like an iron. A set of wedges to allow you to hit consistent short shots into and around the greens, as well as to hit bunker shots, or any other specialist club that helps you. Many senior players, for instance, especially those with slower swing speeds, will carry extra fairway woods or hybrids instead of long irons, which they hit with much more consistency due to their forgiving design. At the other end of the bag, we have wedges. They're a subject in themselves, and we have a separate wedge education video also to help you. But in essence, the key to choosing wedges is to pick lofts that cover the distance from your shortest iron to the hole in consistent gaps. The final combination of clubs will depend on your skill level on the course. 
your personal playing style, the types of courses that you play and the conditions. But the key is making sure you have a club for any situation or yardage that can occur. Know your skill level and personal preferences. It's pointless carrying a club that you can't hit and thus never use. It might be the case if you're just starting out, you need to see where the gaps in your game are and fill those in once you know a little more. After 20 years of playing, I'm still always trying to work out what's best for me. Now we love to hear your feedback and if you like this video, please do give us a like down here and subscribe to the Golf Fitter YouTube channel here to be kept informed of our latest review and education videos. And of course, follow Golf Fitter on Facebook and Twitter too for the very latest equipment news. But for me for now, it's Donal out.